Hello guys, this is the Caveman and today I'm making this video on uh, how to fix your Mega Blocks or Mega Constructs figures. Uh, and by fixing, I mean the paint. I bought this guy and uh, he was, let me take this off. His eyes were like uh, one and a half millimeters to the left. So it looked pretty weird. This fella uh, has a pretty nice sculpting on his face mask, so it would be a waste to leave it like that. Uh, so I, I start up fixing it, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Uh, hopefully this will help you to fix your own figures. First of all, we're gonna need a pointy meal or a needle. We're gonna need one of these guys, ear cleaning stick, and uh, a fine brush. And by fine, I mean fine, something really thin. Um, paint, of course, and some water. So the first step here is to remove the paint, uh, and it's pretty easy. You take this one. And gently, uh, this piece is made of some sort of rubber, plastic. So if you scratch too much or too hard, you're gonna pierce the piece. So just gently scratch it until the paint looks like coming off. Then you take your stick, put it into water, just don't let it too, too wet and then start rubbing the part you just scratch and that way the paint will be loose and then you can remove it. I made it uh, gently so I tried three times, it took me three times to take it off, especially in this part, in the nose. So I scratch it gently, use your stick, and remove it. Once you have removed the paint, we're gonna start the painting process. Take some paint, put it, I use this cap, you can use um, whatever you want, but just take the paint, and I use this tool here, just take some paint and put it in uh, two drops of water. You're not going to need more than that. Once you have done that, just start mixing it like this and then it will blend. And you have thin paint. If you want to paint your, your figure with this, it's going to be a very big problem because this is too thick and this is too small and uh, if you try to make it directly you're gonna make some layers some thick pieces of paint and then you will lose the sculpting um, on your figure I'm sorry about my nails but I've been working too much with paint lately so Use some thin paint, otherwise you're going to get into really tough problems painting this. Okay, so now we have the thin paint. You take your brush and make just the tip of the brush. Just take it. Oh, this brush is going to get into real problems. Well... This is this brush is going to the trash right now, but you can use uh, you can either if your brush presents things like this I hate it but you can you can cut the threads or you can use another one. Just for tutorial purposes, I'm going to tell you how to do it. So basically, you just take it and you just start painting it. Uh, the brush you have to make it in layers. Let's have another brush. 
like this one. So you take a piece like this and you start making layers, very thin layers. It will take you three times, perhaps four times to get to get it painted correctly because you have to be very careful that every layer it's really thin for example here you start for example can you see it's barely it's a very thin layer on the finger you have to make them pretty much the same thing here you have to make one thin layer then two or three times more why why do we do this like that because if we make it in thin layers the sculpting will be respected and your action figure will look natural otherwise it's going to be a, th a thick layer and you're going to start losing some parts of the face mask um, after doing it two or three times it will look like this um, since I had some black I also painted the vents on the mask just take a, bit, a little drop. Don't forget to clean up your brushes. That's that's very important. When you have cleaned up your brush, I make the same process with the black. I took some black and put it on the cap and mix it with water. And then just take a very little drop and put it on the vent. And that's it and now it looks the way it should be let it dry for five to ten minutes and uh, there are some people who advise to use some lacquer on it in order to make the paints remain on, on the face mask you can do it you can use some spray some some spray uh, and um, if you have an airbrush you can you you can try it too um i have some experience with this ones and just like that it works pretty well because the rubber really keeps the paint on its place but you can do it both ways and it will work so that's it i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial let's put this right here and uh, I hope it works for you. Okay. Have a nice day. And if you like it, don't forget to push that button, that like button. Oh, yeah. And if you want to share it with your friends that collect Mega Blocks or Mega Country, you can go ahead too. Goodbye.